What's up guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another toy review. We got a good one for you today. We have got the Yolo Park Starscream AMK Pro. This one I'm really excited for guys. I think this is going to be a good, good thing. Yolo Park, as I've mentioned in previous videos, really been doing a great job this year. Right now, we're in November. They're my toy company of the year, no doubt. I've heard nothing but great things about this. Um possibly a figure of the year contender even so we will take a look let's take a look at the packaging real quick before we get into it great g1 look here um, as you can see there you can also remove the cockpit which is really cool on his chest of course he does have die cast and plastic just like every amk pro from yolo park uh, has also comes with some new stuff this time we've got some blast effects we've got some missiles that come out of his uh, out of his chest so that'll be cool we'll take a look at that also comes with a display stand as well also the one thing that yellow park did they outlined kind of where the die cast is as well so that's helpful too but as you guys know with uh, these amk pros this is just the slip cover we've got this amazing artwork nice uh, glossy artwork of starscream on the actual box so that is super cool these things are really worth keeping themselves i have two other amk pro uh figures from yellow park and i keep all of these just because they're so well done very premium and very very cool so let's get to it let's head to the review table take a look at starscream see if he is as good as the optimus prime and the megatron all right guys here we go all out of the package i chose not to do the uh the build segment this time i think that's a little redundant Really, this is a very simple uh, model kit. We'll use quotations, model kit, uh, to put together. Anybody can do it. Really easy. Let's get to why I say it's so easy. This is the um, instruction manual. And I got to tell you, everything about this figure, the packaging, the figure itself is premium. This, is, this does not resonate like a $60 figure when you get it and you start looking at not only the box and the figure, but the instruction manual as well. Look at this instruction manual. It is glorious. Very, very, very nice. And it's a premium type of paper too. It's thick. It's very nice. So kudos once again to Yolo Park. Um, we'll just go over it real quick just to show you guys. Again, like I said, very easy. Instructions are detailed very well, so really, it's very easy to do. I mean, my, my son, he's seven, and my daughter, she's nine. They can do it with no problem. Uh, there's a back look at the um, instruction manual, and just, I mean, we get some of the old school. Nice touch there. They give us some of the old school backgrounds from the old G1 boxes, so that's cool, too. I actually didn't notice that until right now. But there's a good look at Starscream, and I got to tell you what, guys. To me, right now, at this point in time, this is my figure of the year. I won't even leave any suspense to that. This is not only the best YOLO Park AMK Pro figure that they've done. This is the best YOLO Park figure they've done. This is the best Transformer I've gotten this year. This is expertly done. The crafting, uh, the way he's done, the, the multiple faces, the uh, inclusion of battle damage, the... The articulation, there is one point that will knock him down a bit, but that's it. We'll get to that in a second. But the paint, everything about this screams G1 star scream. I mean, this rivals a masterpiece. He's a little bit smaller than a masterpiece. He doesn't transform. But if you're just into the character himself, you're not going to find a better value with this kind of execution on how he looks and moves than this Yellow Park AMK Pro. It is fantastic let's get to it real quick let's get to his articulation i'll show you everything he can do so we'll go ahead and start up at the head he does come with three other face plates which i'll get to once we go over the accessories head is on a ball joint he moves up moves down a little bit he's got some nice wiggle waggle there when you get this smile face he's got a ton of expression i mean you know you can have him Shooting right at the Autobots here. And he's just laughing it up while he's wasting Autobots. I, I mean, the, the sinister evil laugh that Starscream is known for was absolutely done 100% to a T. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And I'm just so impressed with it. So the head itself, fantastic. The arms, we've got shoulder joints. We've got a nice butterfly. You can see how much his arm goes in and out there. Really well done as well. 
the null rays are on ball joints. So look at that. Go up and down based on how you're going to have the arm go. Very well done. And the joints, I'll tell you, are a little bit tight, but I'm actually okay with that. I think that's a plus that the joints are a little bit tight and not loose. You're going to be very impressed with this elbow joint because he has full range in his elbow, and that is fantastic. Very well done. The hand itself, very similar to Optimus Prime where these fingers are on one hinge. We have a hinge more at the palm and a hinge where the fingers are. But his index fingers, you can see there has one, two points of articulation as well. And then the thumb is just on a uh, ball joint. So we're going to get a lot of nice poses out of the hands. And that's pretty awesome too. As far as the wings go, these will go in and out. I would say be careful with this because this part is plastic. I, I would have, in a perfect world, these would be die cast, but that's plastic. Still, just be careful with them and you'll be fine. As far as the wrist, go back to the ends. As far as the wrist go, they are on a ball joint, so they're going to get any kind of range of motion that you want. One misstep, this is going to be the only misstep of this entire review, is there is no waist joint. That was pretty much impossible just due to the design of Starscream and the way he moves. I don't really see any way they could have incorporated a wrist or a waist joint without breaking up the cockpit. And I would much rather not have a waist joint than break up that cockpit. So I can understand why they did that. In place of a waist joint, he's got a nice ab crunch. Look at that ab crunch. Unbelievable. And you wouldn't even know it by putting them together. I was messing around with him earlier today to prepare for this review, and I didn't even notice the ab crunch until I noticed, uh, mess, you know, messed around with him a little bit more. So very, very nice there as well. As far as the legs go, he does have some in and out there. There is a skirt piece right back here. This is die cast, so you have to be a little bit careful, but it will go in and out. I'm not going to do too much. Also has a thigh swivel. Has knees. You, this knee this knee shocked me because I thought it was going to go out to here. And it just keeps going and going. Again, they covered it up nicely. Much like with uh, Megatron Optimus Prime. So you get a lot of movement in the knees too, which would be good for, uh, for flight poses. Uh, one area too where there's not a ton of articulation, but you can get a little bit, is in the feet. You'll get some nice um, pivot right there. And then the toes will also go up and down just a little bit. So you can get this guy in some nice poses. I didn't actually think this was going to clear, but it does nicely. You can also see the battle damage as well. Battle damage is present throughout all of him. Nice little scuffing, as you can see. Let's see, where was it? There was an area, area right here. You can even kind of see like copper rusting, like rust going through him. And of course, there's panel lining on all of them too, which is something we don't see with... Hasbro, but look at the panel lining. All that is done very well, very meticulous. As I was looking at this guy, I was trying to come up with another way to get another one and what you could do. This is an absolutely perfect canvas to do like the Golden Lagoon. If you want to just get this and just totally gold him out, this would be perfect for that, which I might actually do. <laughs> so there you go, guys. There is Starscream. His articulation is absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. All right, some nice accessories here. Not quite as many as some of the other releases, but that's okay. Uh, Megatron probably had the most. These things are tiny, so I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit for you. But these are the uh, alternate face plates. Face is pretty easy to change out. Um, I'm not going to be using these because I love the Sinister Laugh face. I think that's the one uh, that I like the most. So you've got two, one serious and one with his mouth closed completely. So those are nice. Two face plates, face plates. And then we've got the missiles, the missiles that come out of his chest. So we'll show you off these in a minute, but these are really cool. I'm not super excited about how you install these onto the chest, though. I don't like... The way they did that but um you know it is what it is but very cool a nice translucent purple and they look really really good coming out of there so you get one you get two of those and then we've got the big blasts and these can be used on the feet can also be used out of the null rays um i like these but i don't like these at the same time as you know the null ray mostly was just like this long piece here so the big giant explosive overly done blast really isn't necessary but it looks good on the feet so we'll show that off a little bit too but you get two of these do have to put them together they're two pieces each 
But uh, very well done. And I'll also mention, they're not that really crappy, rubbery plastic that you get from Hasbro. These are solid. You can hear it. These are solid. Now watch these. Don't drop one of these on the floor and step on it. You'll puncture your foot. But really nice, sharp edges here too. And um, really solid, really premium feeling. And then lastly, we get the, blaze, the base of display, complete with the uh, Decepticon logo there. And it's just a typical base, kind of like we got with uh, Optimus and with Megatron. So there you go. Good amount of accessories. Let's go ahead and load him up, and I'll show you guys what he looks like. All right, there you go. There's all the blast effects installed. As you can see, we've got the missiles coming out. Really what it is, they've got a little uh, peg in there that just kind of fits in between the uh, the silver portions there. So it is a little tough, and you got to kind of read the instructions. I don't like to read the instructions, so that's kind of why it was tough for me. There's a good look at the uh, the null ray with the blast effect, and then also the blast effects can fit in his feet as well. So you can make this guy look really, really cool. You can have him static. You can have him shooting Autobots. You can have him all different ways. Really well done. I will tell you, I'm not crazy about these bases. Uh, they don't really, maybe I don't know how to do it, but they don't fit on him very well. So I'm not going to do too much of that in this review. But we'll um, go ahead and pose him up. I'll shut my mouth and give you guys some poses and we'll put them on my little roundabout next. All right, guys, had a little bit of audio problems, so wrap it up. Really great figure. Very well done. Uh, the die cast is great. The sculpt is obviously fantastic and just a, a really solid figure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now, figure of the year for me at this point. I'm going to give him a 9.9 .9 out of 10. I think the only misstep on this guy is that he doesn't have a waist swivel. But um, as we mentioned before, that would probably pretty much be impossible We'd be breaking up the cockpit, so we don't want that. But uh, excellent figure. You can get this guy on YoloPark.com, or you can get him on Amazon. He is a couple more dollars on Amazon, but you can get next day shipping. I think he's like $62.99. So if you don't want to wait for him to ship from Japan, go ahead and get him on Amazon. But Yellow Park, AMK Pro, Starscream, a must-have if you're any kind of Transformer collector at all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.